Right, welcome to this review for uh, one of the units from Adeptus Titanicus. That's the War or Battle Titan. Games Workshop very kindly sent me a copy of this along. I haven't unboxed it yet, so we're going to take a look at it here in this video. Give you an idea, we'll zoom in. Take a look at this kit. Games Workshop have said uh, the models coming out for Adeptus Titanicus are some of the best they've ever sculpted. So we'll see, we'll get a close up view of these uh, in this review. So thanks to Games Workshop for sending me a copy early. Uh, so I'm able to give you a review of this ahead of time. Usually I get my Games Workshop stuff from gamingfigures.com. They do Games Workshop at a discounted rate, so you can check them out. Uh, and it's game, Games Workshop, 40k, and then all a whole load of other gaming systems as well. So, uh, the Wall of Battle Titan, Titans bestride the battlefields of the Imperium, their thunderous tread heralding the destruction of the enemies of mankind. A mainstay of the Collegia, Titanica, Warlord Battle Titans are among the largest and most powerful war machines ever devised by the Mechanicum. So they, they are the biggest out there. So this is, uh, in this game, this is going to be about as big as the, the models will get. It's saying actual size here. So, uh, it's about the size. Well, it's a, taller than a ghost kill here. So that's the kind of scale you're looking at. So tower players immediately know the kind of scout, but um, big enough, sort of six inches, seven inches in total height, just there. So the kit's big enough, uh, the box. So the question I had, I haven't unboxed this yet, was do you get the rules uh, card inside? I doubt it, I don't think that's the way Games Workshop usually do things. It looks like it doesn't include it. All right, so we'll just open this up. See, this is one of these slide ones now with the tray. That's a nice color scheme, that one. So, you get this, which will be a construction manual. Give you an idea of how many bits to put together. Doesn't seem to be much. The eyes are not too bad. Pretty straightforward here, I think, to put this one together. Exquisite detail, for sure. It's all the weapons. And this is a very intricate design. Yeah, and your instructions for your uh, transfers, where to put them. And they're giving you some color schemes to work to as well. That's the one on the front cover art. And there's one here on the back as well, so good clear instructions in there. Then this one comes on one, two, there's the feet here, look at, look at the size of that, cool. And then three sprues. Transfer sheet, quite straightforward basic one there. And then the base here, which is, again, ghost kill. Give you an idea of the scale of the base. Just that. So what I'll do here is zoom in on these just to get a closer view of the detail. So just looking at the sprue here, just from behind first of all. The detail mostly is going to be on the other side, so just flip it over. This is the main gun. There's the different head designs that do like the, the heads. Just these Crusading Knight looks to them, look very cool. So there's a couple of options available. Cool, so the battle plates and armour. Yeah, there's the big rocket launchers. Spin a background. Okay, so there's that detail. Next one, look at that. See, it is quite incredible, it is beautifully done. Engage Workshop set the standard ready for kit production here. And what can be done with injection molded plastic? So that's the feet. Yeah, one thing, look at the very fine uh, hashed uh, grid metal here, looks very beautifully done. Very intricate detail. Yeah, it's very impressive. Look at that, even underneath the, even underneath here on the feet, all the detail that's been put in. Brilliant. So, 
Yeah, one thing's for sure, the production of these is superb. They're very nicely produced. It's going to be a, a very impressive miniature. There you go. Something to be proud of. It really is very well produced. And then here's the, again, battle plates here, so I'll flip this over. So you can see it, so the feet. Yeah. Shoulders, I'd imagine. Similar to the Imperial Knight kit that I have, and the arms and weapons are mounted on there. Alright, this is your different shoulder plates, I think, for the different, so blank ones, whatever faction uh, you want to go for, and there's some that are set and sculpted and moulded on for you, so there's plenty of options available within the kit here. Very nice, that's the top plate that goes right on top. But uh, excellent produced, it is a beautiful kit, there's no doubt about that, but uh, very, very nice indeed. So there it is, that's the review, or the unboxing here of this kit, uh, just to give you an idea of the contents inside. This is sort of the, the flagship design here for uh, Adeptus Titanicus, this is the one that Games Workshop uh, are proud of, and it's an uh, incredible miniature for sure, absolutely beautiful kit. Uh, and you know, it's going to take half the time to paint as an Imperial Knight, you know, it's sort of half the size. Uh, and you're getting a Warlord war, war Battle Titan, so you know, for, for many people, you'll never be able to get something like this from, from Forge World, you know, the actual 40k scale uh, version. If you really want one of those models uh, and to use them in games, you know, and the different weapons they carry and so on to let Titans fight out, now you have the opportunity here with Steptus Titanicus. So it is a good move that Games Workshop have done. I'm sure this kit and the others are going to be very popular. Uh, but as I asked in the previous video, I wonder how, fur, how far Games Workshop. Workshop are going to push this. Are they going to go down to the level of infantry, you know, little jet bikes, and so on, which sort of are, are in, insignificant units compared to things like this? But when added in, it creates it's more epic, <laughs> like epic uh, the, the old game used to be. You had from one extreme to the next, yes, you had the large Titans, but you had the smaller scale infantry units, and so on, uh, to offset against that and to help you appreciate. The sheer scale of these models. I wonder if Games Workshop are going to go that far. Again, if you know, know what's coming, what to expect, and how diverse this is going to become, or whether it's just going to be limited, then uh, leave that in the comment section below. But uh, nice production here. This Ball of Battle Titan is a beautiful model. So uh, if you're looking to get into this game, this is sort of one of the ones you, you really want to get. It's very nice indeed. So that's the review here. Uh, check out the channel for more reviews. Uh, thanks again to Games Workshop for sending me a copy ahead of time and then check out GamingFigures.com That's where I usually go for my discount 40k and other gaming systems as well. That's the review for Warlord Battle Titan. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.